the calendar on the island of Hawaii, Hawaii, the National Tropical Botanical Garden. And um, welcome. I know some of you are curious. I've been coming here now for 15 years to do this workshop. And I love to show you around a little bit. So here we are at the very top of the Lawai Valley on the island of Kauai. And all of this below and around is the National Tropical Botanical Garden. And we're up here at the Education Center. But you can just see that the garden starts here, the McBride Garden, and then it keeps going down. And then it becomes the Allerton Garden, and then it hits the ocean. It's absolutely beautiful. And up here, this is where we hold our workshop. We go down into the garden to collect things, but you can see we also have lots of very cool things right around here to draw. Uh, here we have uh, just opening right today, the popcorn orchid. And we have this uh, one of the many Earthrhina, which are very cool that uh, the garden has a really interesting collection of. And you can see some pollinators. Everybody's having a great time here. And then inside here, this is our classroom. So come on in. We have a second camera going, everybody, that Pam Thompson is on. Pam, come with me. Go ahead, okay, Wendy. Okay, so I'm Wendy, and maybe I should introduce Well, I'll introduce you two after. So here's the classroom, and everybody's at work. Hi, everybody. Let's just like, we'll walk around for a second because everyone's working on some cool stuff. Tom has got a pandanus happening here. Look how beautiful. Movie. Look at that. And look at the cool plant. He's got, I love how he's got this habit study behind it, reduced in scale. Then let's go over here. Okay, wave, Tom. <laughs> and then we're Tom's got, been here three times. We've got Kobe working on kumquats. <laughs> this is Kobe's first week here ever. How do you like it, Kobe? Even though you I live, love it. he lives yeah. on Kauai, he's born and raised here, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that awesome? I'm learning a lot. <laughs> Tattoos available next week. <laughs> Iron Bridge tattoo, Wailua. Go get tattoos. And Karen is working on one of these really cool erythrinas from the collection. So you can see how we have the subjects in all stages out on everybody's desk. Most people are using a combination color pencil and watercolor. Molly is working on, in honor of Valentine's Day, she started yesterday. She's coming pretty quickly on the cacao, which is the chocolate plant. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure you're having a great time. I oh, can't yeah. wait till will we open that up after. Okay. Save room see. for some of that. Ah, yeah, yes, yeah, and seeds. Okay. Some and then um, <laughs> we could just store on this way a little bit. Uh, Kathy's got a beautiful pandanus. Pandanus she's working on. Joan is working on a breadfruit leaf. Crazy breadfruit leaf that's drying up. She's been doing quite a bit with life in here. She's quite beautiful. Esther is working on this very unusual brand here, set up beautifully, all organized. <laughs> oh, Pam's doing the same thing. Okay, so then come, let's go and uh, let's just look a little bit at, we go down, look, let's go look at the whole room for a sec and just see, or we could let Pam do the rest of the room. As I did do on Instagram, watching. Okay, so here we go. This is Sam who's filming. Hey, Sam. Sam McWilliams is filming. This is her work area. A lot of teaching goes on here and drawing. Here's some nutmeg. Nutmeg flowers and leaves. Oh, well, you've got to go back down. I bet that thing is starting to... Here's a crazy over soon. comet orchid or Darwin's orchid. Pam's not really into color. Pam Thompson, our instructor, she doesn't really like color. But um, anyway, pretty fun, right? Come on, how much fun is this? So look at what everybody's up to. Everybody loves drawing this one. This is the um, Erythrina Livingstoniana. Yeah, speaking of which, Jay's got that in This guy's right very here. popular, of course. There's Pam's face again. <laughs> Jane is also working on that. It's just such a cool 
Jane and Wendy have been drawing together now for what, 15 years? Uh, well, that's right. Jane was here the first year. Thank you, Jane. That's all right, It's Wendy. just you and me the first year, right? Yeah, yeah just about. <laughs> and Lucille is over here on the spectacular shell ginger she's working on. She did a good job matching her shirt color to things that she's drawing <laughs> for the Instagram Live. Well done. <laughs> this is a real challenge. Um, but that's what we want to do when you all are around us and we can try the hard stuff. That's right. Good job. Looking good. All right. So we're going to go over. Oh, wait. Specimen table real well, quick. I think Pam will do the specimen table. Let's let her do all that. Our crazy subject. This is over here in my work area. And I thought I'd tell you a little bit that some of you have been following. I've been doing these plant family paintings and, um, I've got a couple of work. We might as well do this one first. This one um, is the family that uh, cashew nut and mango belong to. Also poison ivy and sumac. And so I've got the mango sorted here. And this is another plant in that family. And then I'm waiting for my cashew. I have the flowers, but I'm waiting for the fruit. I'm hoping they develop while I'm here in Kauai. If not, I have to get them from California, I think. Then when I get back home on the East Coast, I'll do poison ivy and sumac. I'll add those in. And then over here, I'm working on a family very near and dear to me, probably to you too, if you like coffee. This is the Rubiaceae family. And so it's the coffee plant. And you can see I've got everything kind of spread out here. Um, this is the flowers, which were, are so fragrant. Uh, I've had this for a couple of days. I've drawn them out, and now I'm going to work on getting those finished. And then there is the coffee fruit right here. And, the, you know, the beans will work on that area, uh, which I put right in the center of this composition because I think it's what it's all about. And then the top part are all different uh, gardenias, because this is, gardenias are in this family, and they smell amazing. Here, smell this one. Can you smell that? It smells so good. I can. Mm, I can tell you all about it. And then um, another cool plant in this family is called noni, which is down here, which um, will, the flowers are gonna come out soon. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen on the rest of this page here, uh, but usually I have one element to weave the whole plant family together. In this case, I was thinking about maybe using, this is a vine in the Rubiaceae family that I could use to twine around everything. It's apparently extremely annoying and invasive in Hawaii. So some of the students who live here are protesting. They're not sure they want me to use it. So I'm going to have to think about that. But anyway. Um, and you can see here, like, this is a fruit in a gardenia. This is, I've got all different kinds of gardenias. And right out here on my board right now, that I would show you a little bit, I have um, different stages in the drawing. And when, when I start, um, I want to show you my work spot. So right here I have my palette that I'm using to use my uh, watercolor pencils. So... This is a watercolor pencil. I can go like this right on the table. Uh, not the table, on the palette, which I'm, I just have this big cutting board. It works so great. I like to have a lot of space. These are my watercolor pencils. Over here are my color pencils, my beautiful sharpener. And um, of course I have my smoothie ready over there to go. When you're in Hawaii, you wanna be tasting as much as possible. And, and so let me just show you a little bit right here. I've got um, the stages. I First, I put down my uh, drawing with a color pencil. This is a dark sepia here where I start planting um, the leaves and the veining just a little bit and which leaf will overlap which. And I do that with dark sepia to, very lightly to kind of get it started. Sometimes I just kind of don't even go any further. Um, so I, I identify the main vein and then the secondary veins. And then I decide where am I going to leave a good highlight 
and I come in with a layer of watercolor, which I've done here on top of this grisaille. You can see it here. And where I want a really shiny highlight, which I want on these leaves because they're quite shiny, I leave those the white of the paper. Then I let that dry, and I can go back in. I'll show you now. First, I'm going to go, um, sometimes I just, at this stage, I go in with my color pencils, but sometimes I like to just keep doing a little bit more watercolor. So let's do a little watercolor here. And Pam's going to be on your face, so if you want to talk to the camera, you can oh, hi, look at her, and I'm on your artwork okay. right now. So I've taken some fresh, clean water on my brush, and I'm just going to wet going to wet two segments of this leaf and then I'm going to go in here and get a little bit of mix up a color. I'm using chrome oxide green and permanent green olive and I'll test it here and then while it's still wet I'm just going to go in there and try to shade a bit with it. And think about making little pillows in each segment. You could follow her, Pam, when she goes over to the palette if you want to, if that works for you. And you can see here, I'm trying to create these little pillows in there. And um, let's do another one here. And by working with the watercolor and the color pencil together, I can speed the process of this up as much as possible because I have to tell you, these are big paintings and look, so many plants. I got to figure out a way to get it down, you know? And uh, so I'm trying to work on techniques that's, that help me do things a little quicker. So I don't have the same amount of time I might if I was just working on a painting of one plant. And so I'm just showing you how I can get the segments wet. I won't do any more, but that's the idea there. And then here, rather than do that, let's just go in, because it's dry now, with color pencil. And I've got, you know, I've been matching close to my uh, plant. But like here, I've got dark sepia. Sometimes I use that just to get it started with the shading. And now what I've done on this which I can show you is I've used a cream pencil to add a little veining. You can see it's slightly lighter and it actually resists the pencil a bit, but also it just lets me know where I am. And I'm getting, and I'm just doing that same idea of creating those pillows. And then I'm mixing my different colored pencils. My greens are most of the time done with just about three pencils. Permanent green olive would be really great. I mix that with a little dark sepia and also chrome oxide green yep. is a good one, which I have right here in my hand also. And you can see how I, I can kind of do what I was doing here. But when you work with pencils, you have a little more control for sure. It's a little, you know, you can not worry as much because you, those of you who get nervous and that, that's how i start to kind of get that going then on the other side oh this is so much fun already you know i'm going to have this side a little darker and this side a little lighter with good highlights on that side because i always do that when i do my leaves one side's darker because it's kind of like two sides of a book and the the light in this case is coming from the right because i'm I'm left-handed, so I'm using my light source from the light. They want to know what kind of paper you're on, Wendy. Okay, I'm on Stonehenge Aqua Hot Pressed Watercolor Paper. And right now she's using Polychromos Pencils, Color Pencil. Great. Yeah, hi, everybody. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. If I don't know the answer, maybe... Sam or Pam might know the answer, or one of the students in the room here, because everybody is full of information that we share, which is one of the fun things about being here together, is we all get to kind of share ideas and get inspired by each other. Yeah, if I missed your question, just type it again. 
And um, yeah, so yeah, let me know what else you'd like. I was going to show you another plant family painting I just started. Um, but if you want me to demo a little more while I'm here, let me know and I, I will. What are your watercolor pencils? So the watercolor pencils are the Albert Thuria watercolor pencils, also by Faber Castell. And it's amazing because the colors match. So whatever I use in a color pencil, I can also grab in a watercolor pencil, which is great. They work together. And she doesn't use her watercolor pencils on the paper, everybody. Just rubbing it onto the palette here and then pulling the pigment off of the palette with the brushes. What size is your paper, Wendy? This is a 22 by 30 inch of full sheet of this paper. 22 by 30. And, um, yep, 22 by 30, you got it. Yeah, I think that's uh, probably good, unless you want to see how, let's. Yes, Spain is happening in May 2024. May 12th through the 24th, we'll be going to Spain. We will be announcing the workshop, which everybody is asking about. I'm telling you, not a day goes by and somebody went to Spain. I want to go, which is so exciting. Um, but anyway, it will be available to purchase and read about at the end of May. Yeah, end of May, you're going to get an email from Draw Botanical about the Spain dates. Um, the palette she is using is just a plastic cutting board from the dollar store. Such You can also use a Caranda Osh palette or you can use Duralar film. There was another question. Yes, if you're on island, you can stop by and see us. Flora Legium is also having an art show in the, um, the NTBG BRC library on March 3rd from 5 to 7 p.m. So if you're on island, great art show, March 3rd, 5 to 7 p.m. Come meet all the artists. We're in the education center from 10 to 4 you can stop by. Wendy does not use a solvent over her colored pencils to blend. Sometimes I do burnishing, which I can do right now, I'll show you. Uh, let me get my ivory pencil here. You can see I'm getting close to uh, saturation here on this stem. Let's just get it a little darker on these overlaps. So this is the polychromos pencil she's using, oil-based pencil. Now I'm going to do what's called burnishing, which is I'm going to come in here with this ivory pencil and kind of push everything together to smooth it out a little bit. So rather than solvents, I blend my colors two ways. One is burnishing is one way. The other is just using watercolor more. And that gets rid of the texture of the paper. Yeah, so that's how I can kind of really get that nice smooth look there and try to leave good highlights. Yeah, that's that. Everyone uh, always wants to know why you like the watercolor pencils on the palette over pan or tube watercolors. Oh, that's a great question, and it's so easy to answer. It's so easy to use these. I don't have to open that thing of paint, get that on my hands over and over again, squeeze at just the right amount, right? Then mix it up, blah, blah, blah. Or have a palette that I keep wetting. I could do that, and I do do that sometimes, but somehow this just is so easy for me. I just go like this. I've got these two colors. I know they're going to be just right because they go with what I'm using already. I go in there. I get some fresh water. I mix it, I test it, you know, because I use so little at once. Sometimes if I am covering a big area, you know, I might want to get out a tube of watercolor to mix up a ton of paint, but I rarely do that. I just don't need to. And this is just so easy because look, it's like all I have. It's right here. It's ready to take with me and go and it's not messy. And that's why I use it. Other questions? You want to go over there and see um, something else in work? What do you say? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Come on.
Okay, so I've started a new painting. It's just planning right now. It's the Malvaceae family. Uh, hibiscus are a big factor in it. And I thought, all right, I have to do that in Hawaii, right? So I started right away. I just went and got one of the local uh, hibiscus endemic to this island and also endangered on this island. Uh, this is a really nice story. And this one is the hibiscus brachymrigii. So I put that in there right at the top. And I'm thinking maybe it will be all colorful hibiscus around here. But then I always do research. And what I found reading about this plant family that certain things are in that family that I forgot, even though I've drawn them before. For example, I got very excited. Well, I did know that this, oh, it's opening. I might have to put this in today. Because, you know, hibiscus bloom uh, one a day and then they're done. And this is opening. I picked it this morning. It was a bud. This is, believe it or not, a, a cotton hibiscus, also endemic to Hawaii. Um, apparently, the cotton doesn't make very long fibers, but it's still in that family. So I probably, I'm going to put certainly some cotton in the painting because that's important. It's also a hibiscus. But what I forgot was in the same family, which is so exciting to me. Let's start with its flower. Can you get it really close? Probably not. There's the flower and then right there is a little developing ovary into a fruit and here I drew it bigger yesterday under the microscope which we have in the corner and then I got so excited because here is its fruit and here it, look how much it looks like the small little ovary that's developing there it is in there it's tiny and that turns into this incredible fruit uh, guess what it is? Anybody know? I'm going to give you like uh, 30 seconds to answer. All right. It's so exciting. But anyway, of course, that's going in my painting. Such an important, especially yesterday. Hint, Valentine's Day yesterday. I couldn't believe I picked this flower and pot yesterday. And then I realized what day it was, which was Valentine's Day. Did anybody get it? Come on. How many, no. how many clues do you need? Come on, guys. Type the the question. You type your guess. What is this? Who knows? What is it? Who is it? This is how big it is. It's heavy. So Who knows? It. Yeah, cocoa pod. Yes. Bella and Sum Sum gets it right. Yay! Yeah, cacao or chocolate. So that will be in this painting too. So, and then another important plant in this family is okra. Uh, another beautiful hibiscus. And then another one, baobab, which is a really cool one. So I may get all of them in this painting. We'll see. Next yep. couple of weeks. Maybe we'll show you again in two weeks if you want. If you want to see us again, would you like us to come back like this? I don't know. <laughs> because it's time to go now. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let us know if you did enjoy us. Send us a message, and uh, everybody have a Let's great Let's walk day. them out. Give them a view of the ocean okay. one last time. The microscope is a microscope that the scientists yeah, here, right here. We'll lent us. So. Here's the microscope all set up and ready to go right here. And we put the subject, we put the light on, and our subject goes right under there, and it blows it up really large. I mean, you can't see it. Well, next, next time, we'll show you. And uh, here's some of Wendy's plant family. Citrus, nightshade family, and onions, alleys. So I've got those three complete. And I have three more and more here. I'm all excited. Because my goal is 12. I think I'll get there. You want to go out that door? Sure. I love this little garden here at the garden. Look at all this. Oh, I think that's a Ruby ACA. I might have to go get that one right there. And then look at these beautiful, these foxtail palm pods. This is the fruit when it's ripe, and this is inside. And if, uh, Sam, why don't you pan way up and show them, and then we'll go out from there. But meanwhile, while you're getting this, I got to go look at that plant. Might have to grab this one today. It's looking so pretty. People love your family, plant family paintings. 
people like the live video so yes do it again this is what wendy often looks like here in hawaii somewhere amongst the plants Hmm. finding so out what's pale. happening it's not a rubiaceae it's not but a it's rubiaceae cool, but it's not in the family i'm working on right now maybe the next one okay bye everybody bye